In this video, we will discuss the data route feature of open automation software. Data route provides easy protocol translation between devices or IoT solutions. The OAS data route product allows the OAS service to write values to an OPC server, to or from another tag, to an MQTT broker, or to an IoT hub. Today, we will focus on writing from one tag to another tag. This is often useful when one device connected to a proprietary PLC needs to communicate to another device connected to a different proprietary PLC. Let's open the software and get started. First, I will select Configure Tags from the top menu. Then I will select Localhost for the network node. I could use a remote OAS service, however, if that is where my tags were. The tag that I have created for our video is Cookie Oven 12. It is a double float tag that reads the temperature of Cookie Oven 12. To configure data route, we will need to go to the target tab for this tag. I will check enable write to target. As I mentioned earlier, for destination type, I can choose from OPC item, tag, Azure IoT, or MQTT. I will choose tag for this demo by clicking browse. The tag I want is on my local OIS service and it is in the Acme devices folder. It is also called cookie oven 12. I will select its value and say okay. The next field to notice is the float dead band. For floating point values, if the source value is different than the target value by more than the float dead band, a write will occur. I will set it to 0.5 so we will always know the actual oven temperature within a half of a degree. Setting it to zero will disable the dead band and update the target on every change of the value of the source tag. If we check the write continuously button, it will write the value at the frequency we specify in this field. I will select Apply Changes. Now the Acme PLC will be able to have the temperature of the actual Cookie Oven 12, even though Cookie Oven 12 is from a different manufacturer and connected to its own proprietary PLC. Let's take a look here at the Acme Device Cookie Oven 12 tag. We can see that its value is changing by whole numbers now as we had set our float dead band to 0.5. This is data route. All of the data route parameters are properties of the tag, so they can be accessed programmatically as well through your .NET application. You can use the CSV import feature of OAS to configure them as well. If you go to openautomationsoftware.com, choose support, knowledge base, data destinations, data route, and getting started data route. There is a tutorial that reviews what I have just gone over. For more information on open automation software, please visit our website at www.openautomationsoftware.com.